Now, remember, this is a basic workout. I designed this program to help you get that nice, firm, and flat tummy and help you find your inner core strength. So grab your mat. We're going to come down to all fours. All right, this is called the tabletop position. It's important that you have a nice flat back. You're going to make sure that your wrists are directly under your shoulders and your knees directly under your hips. From here, go ahead and extend your left hand out with your thumb up and your right foot back. Lift with your heel. We're going to crunch, pulling the elbow into the knee with a nice, firm grasp on that belly. Let's go. In. Really crunch. Press out. You can do this all the way in and out. Really find your balance. This is all about stability right here. Okay, there's a lot going on, but we're really warming it up right here. Get it out. Let's go. Really press back through your heel. You have four more. Four. Really crunch in. Looking good out there. Here's three. I know you're feeling those abs and backs right now. Here's two. Crunch. Good. Just your last one right here. Really press in and back out. Great job. Now this move is called awkward airplane for a reason. Send your left hand out to the side directly and your right foot in front. Now we're just going to hold here. Balance. You can do this. Find your inner core strength. Great work. Bring it on down. Now we're going to switch, okay? Our lead hand is now our right. Extend it out forward and your left heel back. From here, let's crunch eight times, pulling it in. All the way in. Really focus on meeting that elbow to knee and keeping your back flat. In, again, good. Exhale, good. All the way in and out. Stay with me. You have just four more there. You're past that halfway point now. Three and crunch. Good, just two more. Let's go. In, crunch. Last time. Remember that awkward airplane? Oh yeah, I do. Now from here, right hand forward, left leg to the side, really hold. Try and even out the hip and the leg. You're doing it. Good, come back to center. You deserve a stretch after that one. Reach forward, sit back, and really find the length through your entire back. Let your head relax. And from here, we're gonna do work for our entire back. You're gonna come out into a workout that I like to call the superhero fly. You're coming down. Make sure that your toes are flat behind you. You're going to extend your hands out long as if you're actually flying through the sky. Extend both hands out, thumbs it up, keep the head relaxed, and from here, lift the legs. Just hold. Really hold this and imagine that you really are flying through the air. Now, we've encountered some turbulence, okay? I want you to actually fly from side to side, yes. Feel that low back. Here's four. Finish with me. Three on each side. Two. You can do this. One. So good. Now, it's time to focus on the abs. Go ahead and roll right over onto your back, keeping yourself long, okay? I like to call this the line stretch, okay? From here, let your toes roll out and your hips should just stay comfortable. I'm taking this crunch from this position to teach you just to use your abs and not your hips. Hands behind the head. Let's go. Lift. So this is a crunch right here. I want you to focus on just lifting up. Really take the chin off the chest and reach up. Now, can you see daylight under your shoulder blades? I hope so. That's really important right here. Let's go four more times. Three, starting to wake up the abs. Two, yes. Now, take a little break. We're going to now add the oblique. So we're going to firm that side waistband. Are we ready? Crunch center and turn. Here we go. Lift. Little twist. Center. Now, other side. Stay up at the top. This is where the work happens. This is where you make changes in your body right here. Going past that little uncomfortable zone and hanging in. Two more times on each side. Yes. Center. Again, let's go. Lift, little twist, center. Now, last time on both sides. Here you go. Finish with me. Lift, little twist, center, and lower. So good. So now you know your abs. They're awake. I want you to bring both of your legs up and bend the knees. Right to a basic crunch. Hands behind your head, chin off your chest. Let's lift. Straight up. Good, really lift as high as you can, because that's where we change our body. Come on, let's go a little higher. 
Stay with me. I just want four more. Let's go. Four, three. Then we're going to do circle abs. Two. Yes, you're going to circle to your left. You come up all the way around. Really circle. We're just focusing on our left side right now. Just four more. Does your circle look like a square? Or can you make it look a little better, right? Yes. One more. Big circle. Now, other side. Come on. Really get up and around. We're really tapping into the entire abdominal wall. Here's four more. Yes. Three. Can you get a little higher? Two. And one. So good. Those were tough, and you did it. From here, go ahead and extend your left leg up to the sky. Cross it over. This is a comfortable stretch for our glutes, okay? This is called a figure four. Hold here. We're going to work our abs in this position. Take your hand out to the side. Lift. Shoulder up towards the knee. Very important that you think shoulder here and not just elbow. Your elbow can do a lot of work for you, but it's not effective through your abs, right? Two more. Let's go. Lift. Now, I want you to straighten that leg for four crunches. Four. Come back down. Three. Really through the toe. Two. Yes. One. And back down. Now, a reverse curl in this figure four position. Both hands right by your hips. Lift your legs up. Little hip lift. Up. Now, it is such a small and contained movement. I don't want to see any rocking and rolling out there. Give me four more. And if you choose, you can add the upper body. Two more. Are you ready? Set. Let's lift. Combine the two movements. What's your navel doing right now? Are you pulling in and down? I'm sure you are. Four more times. Let's go. Four. Exhale, lift. Come on. Three. Where's your breath? Two. And one. Now, come on down. So good. We get to do it on the other side now. Extend that right leg up. Go ahead and cross over. And let your hips open. Take that hand to the ground and really open your chest and think about that shoulder coming up to meet the knee. Here we go. Crunch. Yes. Big turn through that spine and that entire abdominal region. I know you're doing great out there. Just hang in with me. Two more times here. Really crunch. Now extend that leg. Let's go for four and down. Three. Yes, only two more. You can do it. One and lower. Now, reverse curl on this side. Hands right by your hips. Really press your shoulder blades down through the mat. Are you ready? Let's lift. Very small and controlled. This is such an effective exercise for the entire abdominal region, but it has to be done properly, all right? Very small movement. Now, two more. Lift. Yes, upper body joins the party. Here we go. Eight. And now you're having a party in your living room right now thinking, yes, I'm going to look great in that bikini. Four more. Let's go. Four. And lower. Three. Really get in there. Two. Come on. And one. Yes. Both legs down. Now, time for bicycle crunches. Don't worry. You don't need to grab your bike, okay? You just need you right now. Lift those legs up. Shoulder blades down. You're going to press as if you have pedals right down by those heels. Let's go. Press. Press. Now, this gets more difficult the lower your legs go. So, if you're just getting started here today, keep it up a little higher, and that's okay. But if you've been doing this workout for a while, bring it down a little lower for me. Hands behind your head. Let's have the upper body. Totally optional. Opposite elbow to knee. Now, where's your shoulder? Are you lifting it? I hope so. Stay with me for four more times. There's four. Yes. Three more on each side. Two. And one. So good. Knees to the chest. Really enjoy this stretch. Here's the good news. You're almost done, okay? I want you to rock and roll and sit all the way up tall. This is called boxer's abs. I want you to really work through your core right here. Stack your back all the way up. Your heels are in the ground. Your toes are lifted. Knees are bent. Let's bring it right here. You're going to lean back and cross punch. Really come across. Now, if you're not feeling that comfortable in the back right now, don't go back as far, all right? But know this, it does get better, all right? Your range of motion will increase. You'll get stronger and feel better. Stay with me. Just two more right here. Now, very small movements. Spinal twist right here. Come on. 
really pull in through the navel. Can you lean back anymore? I know you can. Stay with me right here. Here's eight, seven, six. This is it. In five, four, three, two, and one. So good. Let's stretch, all right? You deserve this. You worked the whole time to this point, so don't leave now, okay? Stay here and really lift out of the top of your head. Opposite side, little rotation, lift and lengthen. And breathe, relax, you did a great job. Now from here, we're gonna come back to a standing position. So come back to tabletop, you know and love it. Go ahead, lean back, stand up one leg at a time. And from center, let's drop down in a squat and roll up one more time. Now, give me two big inhales right here. Lift, exhale. One more time, all the way up. Exhale. You did such a great job today. Thank you so much for joining me to sculpt and streamline those abs right here on Exercise TV.